Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in MD102 Microsoft 365 Endpoint Administrator series. In this video, I will cover the learning path 3, which is configure profiles for users and devices and the module 2 of this learning path, which is oversee device profiles. I have already covered the execute device profiles in the previous video. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe the channel for the latest updates and follow the playlist of MD102 for my previous videos. In the next video, I will cover the remaining module of this learning path, which is maintaining the user profiles. Well, let's get started with module 2, which is oversee device profiles. My name is Navneet Kumar and I am a Microsoft certified trainer. The module covers Monitor device profiles in Intune, manage device sync in Intune, and manage devices in Intune using the scripts. In monitoring the device profiles in Intune, this area is actually crucial in terms of monitoring the devices and uh, their compliance state. We can check the various parameters here from the live dashboards. These are the live tiles which show you this data. We can check the status of a profile. We can see the device assignments and the status. We can see the users related to the profile view per setting status as well. We can see the conflicts in case there are any profile names that are creating any conflicts. This helps in diagnosing and troubleshooting the device configuration related problems. Next is manage device sync in Intune. The Intune policies allow you to configure and control the settings on devices to enforce the security, compliance and application management. The groups of settings that control the features on mobile devices and the computers. We have different settings that we can group. These settings are grouped into the categories that govern the device features like the security, its Wi-Fi settings, applications and many more settings. This is across both mobile and the desktop devices. We can create policies using the templates that include the recommended or the custom settings in them. Intune also provides the templates for creating policies with predefined or custom settings that are tailored to a specific device and user requirements. You deploy them to device or the user groups. The deployment of these policies is either to the devices or to the user groups, ensuring that the right configurations are applied to the appropriate entities. Intune policies fall into the different categories. These categories are Number one, configuration policies. The configuration policies define and uh, enforce the device settings like the Wi-Fi related settings, VPN, email, email security for the work accounts, application configurations on managed devices. Next, we have the device compliance related policies, which ensure the device meet specific security and compliance criteria we have set. And uh, this can be like the password length, the encryption or the operating system version and the updates. We also can put the conditional access policies, which ensure that we have some corporate resources uh, based device compliance requirement, such as the user's location, the network and some other conditions, the platform of the operating system or the application that is trying to access the corporate resources. Based on these conditions, we can decide the control that whether we want to allow the access or allow the access with additional um, requirements, be it multi-factor authentication or the devices need to be compliant. We can go with corporate device enrollment policies also where we define the on-ramp enrollment policies to manage how devices are registered and enrolled in Intune like the uh, automatic enrollment for corporate devices we want for bulk operations. When a device checks in, it receives any pending assigned actions or the policies and uh, this check-in frequency depends on the platform and the enrollment 
time that we have provided. We can trigger a sync manually anytime. The frequency if I talk about, so it actually vary based on the Windows or iOS platform and uh, it also depends on the device enrollment that when was that enrolled to Intune. The sync device action will force the selected device to immediately check in with the Intune. We have the sync action that we can trigger to immediately check in and forcing the device to receive any new pending policies without waiting for the next schedule cycle. Managing devices in Intune using the scripts is helpful in terms of the configuration for these devices which cannot be maintained using the native Intune configuration settings. In such cases, we can use custom scripts like the PowerShell scripts for Windows or the Shell scripts for the Mac operating system. To manage these devices through Intune, we can enable these custom settings through the scripts and uh, we have natively supported built-in Intune profiles for uh, uh, some of the settings that we can configure but if they, these settings are not available the one that we want to configure so we can write the scripts to manage the registry settings or the uh, uh, policies or the environment through these scripts. For Windows devices we use the PowerShell scripts and these are uploaded and ex executed on the Windows 10 or 11 devices to perform the tasks which can be for configuration settings like I mentioned or can be for installing some packages, applications or managing the system configurations. For Mac operating systems we can use the shell scripts, typically this is bash script that we use and uh, are used to automate the tasks to configure the settings and to install the softwares on the Mac operating system devices. Once you upload these scripts, these can be assigned to specific users of the device groups and they run either on the system or the under the user context they run. This depends on the scripts configuration you have done. So this uh, Intune management extension ensures that the scripts are executed on the target devices during their check-in cycle. In this module, we talked about these uh, device profiles to oversee and how we can use the custom script configurations. We'll see you in the next module of this learning path. Hope this video was informative to you. Thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel for latest updates. Thank you.